Hello everyone. I am Praveen BR, Assistant Professor from Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering, Sai Vidya Institute of Technology, teaching you all microcontroller lab programs for fifth semester electrical and electronics engineering students. For 2018 scheme, the subject code is 18EEL57. And for 2017 scheme, it is 17EEL57. So today we are going to learn how to uh, write an assembly language program for the BCD up counter. So let us go to the program. So the software which we are using here is Keel Microvision software. In the Keel Microvision software, we'll go to the file menu. In the file menu, we have file, edit, view, project, flash, debug, peripherals, tools, SVCS, window, help. Amongst these, we select project window. Here, we select new microvision project. We are creating the project for BCD up counter. So in the file name, I will type as BCD up, which indicates that we are creating the BCD up counter file. After writing the file name, I click on save. It asks me to choose the vendor and the device. The vendor we are choosing is the microchip and the device we are choosing is 8089C51 ED2. So in the search window, I Press 8089C51 ED2. I select this file and I press OK. Since I am not interfacing with the external components, I don't require the image of this file. So I click on No. As soon as I click on No, in the project window, the target is created. Now we have to write the program we have to write the program in the editor window which is disabled we enable the editor window by going to the file here we click on new the editor window gets enabled so we type the program here in this program there is a special instruction which is called daa this instruction will convert the hexadecimal number to the decimal number this is how we are going to proceed with the program. So after the program is typed, we go to the file. We click on save as. We write the file name as bcd up.asm because it's an assembly language program. I click on save. Now I have to generate 11.0591 megahertz file so the frequency can be set here by going to the project window right click on target one choose options for target by default the crystal frequency is 33 i need to type in this extal megahertz as 11.0591 which says that i'm selecting this frequency in the same window there is an output tab. By default, create hex file will not be selected. I have to check this and press OK. Now I have to add the file to the given project. To do that, again, I go to the project window. Here I expand target one. I choose source group one. In the source group one, I choose add existing file to the group which adds this file to the given project i have already entered bcd up.asm so i choose this file and click on add and i click on close now i have to check whether there are any errors in my program how do i check in this menu we have a window called as there is an icon called as translate i click on translate in the build output you get to know that there are no errors there are no warnings next to the icon there is a build icon i click on it which links the hex file next you have a rebuild 
icon you click on it which says that the process gets completed now i go to debug i click on start stop debug session there is one more window that you get you click on ok now to check the output i need the watch window how do i go to the watch window in the menu i have to choose view in the view i have to choose watch window in the watch window i will choose watch one here it asks me to enter the expression i will enter the expression as a which indicates that i am using accumulator now in the menu the third column second one the third row second column next to the reset we have what we call it as run so when we click on this run we can observe that it has started counting so in the watch one window we can observe that it has started counting so after 8 you get 9 after 9 the number 0a is converted to 10 so that's how a hexa number is converted to a decimal number so this is a binary coded decimal bcd up counter so this is how it is going to count from 00 to 99h thank you for watching this video thank you